Hey, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles, and let's talk about bleeding brakes, specifically ABS Harley-Davidson models. Now, pretty much every late model Harley-Davidson these days comes with ABS. And while bleeding brakes in itself is not a hard procedure, bleeding ABS brakes is a little bit more technical. And the reason behind that is you have an ABS valve on your motorcycle and mechanical bleeding of those brakes doesn't actuate that valve. You had to take it to a dealer so they could hook it up to an electronic tool to modulate that valve. Otherwise, what could happen is you'd actually feel some stiffness in the lever, but you could be going down the road, air that was trapped in the valve could get out and all of a sudden you'd have a brake loss. We got you covered. You don't have to go to the dealer to get that done anymore. Matter of fact, it's pretty easy. We're gonna use this tool right here from Daytona Twin Tac. This is a Twin Scan 4, and it does a ton of stuff. It reads codes, clears codes, but what we're gonna use it for specifically is bleeding ABS brakes. It's a pretty simple procedure. The first thing we need to do is go to the left side of the bike. Pretty much all the Harley data ports are on the left side. It's a gray plug, and we're just gonna plug this in. So our scan tool is ready to go, but the first thing we need to do is actually bleed the brakes. If you guys don't know how to do that, I'll throw a link in here, shows you how to bleed brakes, but just do it as you normally would a non-ABS bike, you know, crack the bleeder at the bottom, pump the handle at the top, crack the bleeder, so on and so forth until you have pressure like you normally would at the handle. From there, we're gonna go ahead and get into our tool and choose ABS tools and choose the model you have. If you have a touring model or soft tail model, obviously we have a soft tail model here. You're gonna choose front or rear. Your brake system's not linked, so if you crack the front, you don't have to mess with the back and vice versa. So we're working with the front, so we're gonna choose bleed front. Right now, it's going to ask you to put steady pressure on the front brake lever. Go ahead and hold the front brake lever, put some pressure on it, and then wait for it to prompt you to move on to the next step. Release front brake lever, and then verify the lever has collapsed and pushed back. It just wants to make sure there's no stiction in the lever and everything's working as normal. And then we hit OK to continue. Then it's going to ask us to continually pump the brake lever. It's gonna give us a countdown of about 10 seconds. Keep pumping the brake lever. Okay, we release the lever. It's gonna ask us if the brake lever pulsed during the step. That's gonna be your indication to know that that valve was working. It's gonna pulse when it's, when it's modulating the valve in there. Once that was done, click OK. And just like that, you're all done. No need to give away all your hard-earned money at the dealership when you can do it yourself in your garage. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop us a comment. Go work on those motorcycles.